ओके सो आई फाइनली रीच और सम टाइम बैक अ फ्यू आवर्स बैक आई वॉज लाइक बींग अ सर्जिकल रेसिडेंट स्टूडेंट अगेन आई वॉज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एग्जाम्स गिविंग ट्रेनिंग सेशन गिविंग वाइवा and that finished uh, somewhere late in the noon today and as soon as as soon as i was done with that i hopped into a bus from chennai cmbt bus station and by evening i was in oroville so there was a sudden change from being a nervous uh, stressful student slash doctor surgeon trying to put his best foot forward uh, to now being a chill vacationer tourist backpacking explorer person so oroville is a place which is famous for its human experiment uh, concept where they try new things and research on a lot of different different things and i have been curious about what this place is all about and that i cannot know unless and until i stay in it for now before i turn this room into a refugee camp slash studio i would like to give you a room tour of this simplistic nice cozy cottage that we have over here plan for the day is to find out what i should be doing so from talking to some people i've gathered that town hall is the place to begin with and there i can get to know all that is happening around oroville so the information center i believe is the first place that you should go to if you come to oroville it gives you a birds eye view of what oroville is all about the geography of the place the map the concept the idea the history everything is there in one place and it is really useful to come here if you want to plan your stay properly you might want to get an oro card made if you plan to stay longer um, it is used as a payment method for few specific places which don't accept normal money using the bicycle is by far the best way to move around inside oroville and honestly not hearing honking in itself is a stress buster so to say okay so one thing about the place where i'm staying which is the central guest house the the thing is that it is so in blend with nature i i guess this is the best example of what you can construct uh without disturbing the nature the trees the the flora and fauna around it so it is almost as if they found space between trees and they constructed bungalows and cottages and offices in between that and the trees are given priority and they are free to go grow wherever they want so uh, i i think straight away you can feel the benefits of it because the weather over here is much cooler than it is in the cities and it's in chennai so it's known for its terribly hot summer but here it is like a pleasant pleasant weather something that you can live with without air conditioning on the days behind me is called the peace pavilion and as the name suggests it is quite peaceful in fact side is there is a peace table which is made from wood which is hundreds of years old and people gather around and do meditation Okay so that what you see behind me is the Matri Mandir it is the the focal point of the whole Oroville complex and it is like the materialization of the whole idea the philosophy of uh, the the concept of Oroville and and unity and harmony so uh, technically speaking the the Matri Mandir is a heliostat so helio means uh light and stat means that uh, stationary is a mechanism in which there is a crystal ball at the bottom and the light is reflected and directed uh on that crystal ball and uh, surrounding it is area for concentration or meditation so it's quite an interesting thing i wonder how is it related to spirituality but yeah it it is it is indeed an interesting idea to explore Okay so I believe that there are many ways in which some person can travel and if I had to like categorize them there would be one category which is purely for 
traveling for traveling sake because you just heard of a place you go there you want some pictures in front of some popular monument click some selfies and put up some stories and that is where your travel experience ends so that is i i guess the most beginner way of uh, traveling that somebody can do but then there is another category of traveling where you travel with a purpose you want to fulfill a hobby like i make videos i click pictures somebody might chase might chase adventures somebody might go to historical places and learn about the history so that could be one way of traveling which i think is the next level once you are done with the whole the whole touristy picture taking okay so shri aurobindo and the mother a french lady are uh, the founders of auroville and if there's anything you would like to know about them then uh, savitri bhavan is the place to come where i am now and this is a space it's a huge place dedicated to knowing the founders their the story of their lives and the whole concept around auroville and how did they become the spiritual leaders and thought leaders that they are and then this place this auroville i would say belongs to a third category of traveling where uh, it is more about uh, getting involved in the community it is about experiencing by way of participation so it is not for everybody i would say it is not for people who just want to come here get pictures click selfies or and, and in fact not even for people like me who think they can cover everything in a day or two i have to come and live over here Okay, so I've been in Auroville for like uh, a couple of hours, uh, and uh, honestly, I still haven't figured out how to go about exploring the place. So I thought I'll ask somebody who has stayed here for much more than I have, and perhaps can shed more light on the whole idea and the concept of Auroville and why people keep coming over here again and again. And I have with me Mr. Eric. He is a photographer. I am sitting right outside his exhibition though. and it was an interesting exhibition that i came to see if auroville was is a place then how do you think is the best way to see around and if somebody has to know what auroville is all about what would be the best way to do it always send to people that comes to auroville yeah first is welcome yeah <laughs> and uh, second no expectation people might come with a lot of expectation about what is auroville because auroville yeah maybe enlightened people or aware people Right. We are like everybody. Everybody else who have accepted a, a, a alternate way of uh, living, that's true. I think, which is outside the rat race that that's true. Most of the cities are after. Yeah, yeah, it's very right, and that's true. But for people like me who comes from another country, yeah, we left our comfort zone, our life yeah, yeah. with our friends, with our family, right, we, because. We were feeling there's a cold. Oh. So this behind me is the bamboo garden in Auroville. It's the Auroville Bamboo Garden, and uh, they have a lot of musical instruments and a lot of other things which they make out of bamboo. So it is one of those things that you have heard of uh, somewhere back in the corner of your mind that bamboo can be used for so many things. It is very versatile and. Uh, you have bamboo bags and bamboo paper and what not but when you come to an actual workshop when you see music being made out of bamboo and you see a lot of other things being made out of bamboo real you realize that how much uh, you know useful things in nature are and how much uh, we take them for granted maybe and uh, also how skilled we have become at using things which are otherwise part of nature so i mean it it opens up so many different thoughts in your head and i think it's a good experience at such a place if you're coming coming to auroville then this would be a good idea to drop by over here and just you know relax for a while So I think if you spend some time over here and if you've always wanted to be in a space where you can write things or maybe you know write a poem a book or or something like one of those creative bliss station plays like how fancy people take they go to a place where they are isolated and they can write and think come up with ideas they take a vacation of those sorts this would be a perfect place to do that
So after spending two days at Oroville, I realized that there is not much to see at this place, but a lot to experience and learn and remember from Oroville.